Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in again. Well, let's get going here today. I wanna to show you a tool called Workflow. Now, Workflow is only for your iPhone, so if you don't have an iPhone or an iPad, you're not gonna to wanna to watch this video. Move on, I'll put something top right for you to watch here instead. Now, if you do have an iPhone, Workflow is a pretty amazing tool that we've actually used once on the channel before, but I'm gonna show you a full walkthrough, kinda of show you what it can do for you here. So let's get going. Okay, so let's talk about Workflow now. So this is an application only available on the iPhone or an iOS device. Now, what I've done is I've gone into what's called the gallery here, and it's just a number of different uh, applications that are pre-made. So you can kind of start out with a workflow that's already been made by someone else, and they just want to showcase a few of those. So you can see me just scrolling through a number of these, but I really like to see items that allow you to interact with other applications. So you can see one here with exploring Apple Music. Uh, you can also, you know, I like the stuff where you can contact your legislator in just a second. So you're just tapping a button and starting an email. So, uh, you know, anything in relation to calendars or being able to read something later, I think is a really powerful thing. Uh, you know, especially for myself, I like to read tech articles, so I'll read them you know, later in the evening, and if I've seen them during the day, I'll save them. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this one called Browse Top News, and we can go ahead and we can hit Get Workflow here. And so now that's gone into the My Workflow section, and I'm going to open it up. You can choose a number of the different sources here. You can see the URLs are already pre-input that they're going to pull into a list of articles for you. So I'm just going to show you what I, this does when I hit play. So it's running that and then I get to choose the source that I want to see the last 10 articles from. And now I can choose an article to actually read or a number of articles to read here. So this is something that was pre-set up inside of Workflow. You could obviously change the data sources and then rerun this workflow if you wanted as well. So quite an interesting little thing to start off with and you can see it works. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you a little bit of the function in here. So this is creating a new workflow. They have a, a number of different things, normal, today widget, and an action extension. I'm just gonna show you a number of the different actions. So I've gone to the action page here. Now, this is the app section. So this is the different applications within iOS that it will interface with. I think you've seen if this then that, which is obviously very important for us. I also saw Evernote, you can make phone calls. There's a number of different applications there that you can go through. Now the calendar events, you can see things in here like getting details out of an event uh, that you can pull into another part of a workflow. There's also a number of scripting opportunities here and for you coders that are like me, you know, you're seeing things like if this, uh, when, or do, do loops. Uh, you can also run other workflows. So there's a number of different things in there that are interesting. Uh, there's also the text function. So you can pull text from different uh, web pages, notes, all kinds of things. And you can also place text in those things. So um, lots of different opportunities here for you to create workflows. So uh, and the, the list goes on literally forever. I'm not gonna go through everything, but I am gonna show you here how to do an automatic post to Instagram. So what I've done is I've grabbed the action called get latest photo and that photo you can see I have turned off include screenshots. So you know this is intended for Instagram and in general people aren't doing that. So for my phone I just want the last one photo and what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to go and find Instagram here and click post on Instagram. 
drag it over and I can change the automatic caption that's in there and you can see there's a number of variables actually that you can use so if I wanted I could actually pull some variables from that photo like the time it was taken or um, you know what it was taken with in this case it would be my iPhone so I've just put in my list and now I'm going to name the workflow here so we're going to call it post latest to Instagram uh, something easily recognizable here and then I can go ahead and I can pick an icon now you can actually pick uh, a number of the different icons from companies like uh, Instagram or Facebook or LinkedIn or Pinterest or them so there I have it I can also change the color there if I wanted to and then you can see I can add it to the home screen or the launch center or a number of different things so here's the instructions for how to add it to our home screen now that we've got that added to our home screen you can see the icon down in the bottom right there it has the Instagram logo on it but it's still that blue now here's what happens when you actually do tap on that icon it actually runs the script that you just created what you can see that it's done is it's brought in my last photo as per what we built in the script there and what it's also done is it's put the caption that I specified inside of workflow right into uh, the clipboard on my phone so now you can see I just pasted that right in and I'm ready to share that so I think that's a pretty good demo of what workflow can do for you just right off the bat obviously there's a lot of different functions here uh, you know I use workflow for a number of different functions you can instantly bring up emails that you're ready to send off uh, you can make uh, GIFs out of photos on your phone. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do. Probably the biggest thing that I do with it is taking content from web pages, adding them to reader applications, or adding them to notes that I can go and use later. So tons of things you can do with Workflow. So I hope that's a pretty good demo for you. Okay, so I hope you have a pretty good idea for what workflow can accomplish for you. I think it's pretty clear that that tool is able to help you with kind of text or photo operations that you might want to do from your phone instead of kind of working through a, a PC workflow, so to speak. It can definitely automate a few things from if this then that as well. So that's quite an interesting little tidbit there. Anyways, next time, we're going to get going with the Amazon Echo, so I hope you're ready for that. We'll see ya.